Gentlemen, the national anthems of Mexico and the United States. Me. The rapport we build as individuals is in keeping with the final. I well recall first making your acquaintance in June of 1981 at Camp David. And the next time we met, you were president-elect of Mexico, and we agreed then, even before you were sworn into office, to maintain a continuing dialogue and to meet and confer often. You would expect between the elected leaders of two countries, whose people by the millions in difficulties, we applaud your dedication and wish you success in your drive to invigorate your economy. Your deep concerns about the turmoil plaguing that region. We do not agree on everything concerning this situation. The United States and Mexico are motivated by a love of liberty and independence inherent in our systems of government, and mankind will not benefit from them while there may be oppressors and oppressed, menaced and other repressor regimes. We appreciate the creative and energetic efforts to bring peace to the region. For the United States, the conflagration in Central America appears too close to ignore. Complicating the situation and making it even more dangerous. This, this year, you visited Buenos Aires to bring in I agree with that sentiment completely. 
be reaffirmed today. The United States will do what it can. Cooperation and respect between the United States and Mexico will do much in our ability to our As adversaries, our horizons will be limited. As friends, equal in each other's eyes and drawing from each other's strength. Presidente Reagan, gente nos ha permitido conocernos mejor y en el trato cordial y digno, los mexicanos queremos seguir construyendo no solo una vecindad pacífica y digna, sino una amistad fructífera y positiva. Somos vecinos y amigos confiables. Y sabemos conducir nuestras relaciones con ustedes en el respeto mutuo, la intensa relación que se da en nuestras fronteras, en el fenómeno humano y laboral de los trabajadores mexicanos y mexicanos. Hemos sido made en several de estas áreas desde la última vez que nos hablamos con each other. En otras, las soluciones son pendientes como soluciones para el beneficio de nuestro país. Debo reconocer, señor presidente Reagan, Responsibilities on the American continent. We are all concerned about threats to peace, the problem of the arms. Todos los países del continente debemos hacer el mayor esfuerzo posible para restaurar la paz. Accionistas de cualquier origen. En la paz debemos apoyar también a los centroamericanos en sus programas de desarrollo. And by rejecting interventionist solutions of any kind. In peacetime, we must offer not intervention, equality of states before all, peaceful solution of conflict, and international cooperation for development. America Latina, supera la crisis económica más severa del siglo Thank you. 